in, in advocating against the tax cap. Okay. Hi. I'm involved with the, my school district's budget because I'm concerned that my son, who will enter kindergarten in the fall of 2012, will not have the enriching experience that my third grade daughter had in the formative K-2 years. I can already see art, music, and language starting later in elementary education with class size creeping upward. Certainly my, certainly my third grader will see program cuts as well. In the coming years, I expect to see kindergarten fall off the bottom and AP courses off the top. These cuts will not decrease property taxes, meaning everyone loses. Many are calling this current fiscal period the perfect storm. This year's 1.2 billion cut in state aid to schools, dwindling fund balances, tax cap for this coming fiscal year, no significant mandate relief, and continued double-digit increases in health and pension. A few important facts about the tax cap are that it passed because it's free. It does not cost state government money, unlike the star or the circuit breaker. It is fueled by ample rhetoric. The tax cap does not provide significant tax relief. The cap is intended to force school districts and communities to battle unions over benefits concessions, who should cover increases in wages, pension, and health care. It's a very contentious topic, which is exactly what the governor wants to happen across the state at the local level. But even before the tax cap, it was clear we were reaching the tipping point, cannibalizing staff to pay for the benefits for remaining staff. Many districts have used early retirement, attrition, and fund balance to make it through the last three years, but clearly these are not sustainable. As evidenced by this year's school budgets, school boards do not control the tax rate with any accuracy. New Falls had a 4.4% tax levy increase, which became a 9.6 uh, tax rate increase. And Kingston had a 4.9 tax levy increase, which became a 14% tax rate increase due to falling assessments. I would think that most districts, for most districts, complying with the cap and providing quality education is an oxymoron. I believe that administrations and boards should focus on the goal of maintaining their core educational experience and not try to adjust tax levy increases by fractional percentages, losing programs that are likely to never return. Regardless of the cap, improving efficiency to reduce costs should always be a focus of school districts. But since the cap does not provide time to reinvent operations, this budget year will inevitably be contentious. The concept of shared sacrifice has Lucy meant that a combination of cuts, concessions, and tax levy increase would produce a reasonable budget. Now with the cap, there is a perception by many taxpayers that their taxes have been capped at 2%. This will make the 60% supermajority vote to approve a budget over the cap more difficult. Thank you.